everyone. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love St. Augustine, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on what they love about being a part of St. Augustine. So Hillary, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. I'm super excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. Thanks for having me on. Of course. Well, I mean, it has it in her name or her Zoom name, if people can see that. But Hillary, Hillary Chicago Pizza. I mean, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. So there's definitely some different styles of pizza out there. But I know Hillary is really dedicated to her pizzas and making sure that people down here in Florida, they know what really great different styles of pizza taste like. So I'm excited to dive in and learn a lot more. So Hillary, why don't you kick us off and tell me a little bit about your journey coming here to St. Augustine? Sure. So um, uh, my journey, my Florida journey from Chicago started in 2018. I relocated to come take care of my dad who had Parkinson's and um, he passed in 2019, but we decided to stay and try out the Florida life. Didn't want to leave paradise. (laughs) And um, during that year, my husband would bring me my um, deep dish pizzas. So then when he moved here and the pandemic hit and everything, Uh, We couldn't get our delicious pizzas anymore. So I said, "Ah, I'm going to figure out how to make that at home. As you know, everyone was baking during the pandemic. So um, that's kind of where my pizza journey started and my Florida journey. Um, What brought me to St. Augustine was um, the pizza kind of just took off. And um, I was working out out of a commissary kitchen and there was no air conditioning in there. So I said, I need an alternative. I'm not spending another summer in a non temperature controlled kitchen. And we're out doing farmers markets and pop ups outside. So the heat, you know, was definitely a consideration. So um, one of my friends who lives here in St. Augustine told us about the place that we're at now. It's a former um, hot dog, gourmet hot dog, and tap room. So they stopped doing their food, uh, I guess, during the pandemic. So, um, they were looking for someone to just use the kitchen so they he could still sell beer. The food purveyor could sell their food. Great combo. I was like, yeah, let me check that out. So I came, checked it out, and I was told that uh, the business was for sale. So I said, ooh, uh, well, let me figure that one out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for a restaurant again in my life. I had a restaurant in Chicago with my husband for five years. Um, so... Things just kept happening, like magical signs just kept pointing. Like these people were the same people that told us about the farmer's market in Nakati, where we really kind of started growing our business. And um, so it was just kind of like divine intervention that it was supposed to happen. So uh, I was not about a 45 minute commute to Jack's Beach. So we decided to move here um, and we are loving it. We love the community. It's been super supportive. So um, 2020. What year are we in now? 2024. (laughs) Right. Over about a year and a half ago. Um, So, yeah, we took over like um, February 23. So Mm -hmm. we, yeah, we've been fully operational. Um, We've been growing by leaps and bounds. Still getting the word out. It's amazing how people do not know that we're there still. With it being such a small community. But um, we have people who still follow us from Jacksonville. People coming from Palm Coast. Yeah. Yeah. I have people from Daytona saying, come open one over here. So the word, (laughs) the word is getting out and yeah, it's Chicago pizza, which is unique. As you mentioned, um, there are two different styles of Chicago pizza. People might not know that we do have deep dish, which is, um, what we started with, but as Chicagoans know, we also eat thin crust pizza and that is our daily like meal. (laughs) So deep dish is usually like a celebration pizza. I still only eat it once a month myself. And even though I make them every day, um, but I will eat a thin crust, which people are calling tavern style these days. Um, but we just used to call it pizza. Right. <laughs> but it's cut in squares. It's thin. We sell 12 inches and we're going to be selling a 16 inch soon. Um, but yeah, all the old Chicagoans that have moved here. They are so excited and um, to, to get their thin crust pizza here because, you know, there's a lot of New York style here. So we're a little different in that respect. And and the Chicago deep dish is unique. We're probably, I mean, my my opinion, we're the only authentic Chicagoans making Chicago pizza here. So 
that's there that's my go. story <laughs> that's so cool well when he talked about not having an ac you know, i'm like oh my gosh like that's insane because my yeah. family used to own a chinese restaurant up in michigan and obviously we had ac in that but you know even during the winter months when it's so cold outside you go into that kitchen two seconds you're sweating you know right. like it right. gets those things get hot if no one's ever been in a restaurant kitchen imagine like a florida august you know florida july <laughs> Oven. yeah it's absurd <laughs> yeah. um but that's so great you guys have been here for about a year and yeah spreading the word and just making sure people know because there are so many amazing places here in town um on all surrounding towns it's it's definitely hard to hit everything like my family again they had their restaurant about 45 years and I still would meet okay. people in where in the city we lived in Troy and I'm like oh yeah my family owns a restaurant they're like oh my gosh I never heard of it and they're like, oh, we've been here my whole life. I'm like, well, they've been here your whole life. So <laughs> it, it happens. But I, I'm so happy to kind of contribute and share the word because this is awesome. Yeah, uh, thank we you. used to live in Michigan. So we've been to Chicago quite a few times. And I mean, every pizza is different. Every pizza has their their great perks and stuff. But Chicago pizza, I feel like it's one of those pizzas. Like if you've never tried a real authentic Chicago pizza, you have to. It's one of the, yeah. you just have to, right? Um, so that's the goal. It's so cool, especially the thin crust. My favorite's the thin crust. I feel like deep dish gets really, after a few bites, you're like, okay, I've had, I've had the deep dish. <laughs> that's a lot but, of cheese. That's a lot, a lot of, of cheese. cheese. Yeah. It's great. Like you mentioned, like once a month or something, but the, yeah. those thin crusts gone in a second. <laughs> um, yeah. But that's, that's awesome. Do you have any favorite, maybe like they're not on your menu, but do you have any like personal favorite, like pizza toppings or anything like that? So one of my favorites toppings literally is arugula. I call it like oh, the salad pizza. Yeah. So um, yeah, right now we actually partnered with the local book butcher shop, which oh, nice. they're making a blueberry sausage. So we're doing blueberry sausage, goat cheese. It's like on a white base. And then we're topping it with the arugula and our daddle honey. So wow. those are some of my, I, I don't usually eat sausage, but um, yeah. like the arugula, a garlic base, or a fig jam base, that's good too. And then um, goat cheese. Goat cheese is probably one of my favorite Oh my topics. gosh. Yeah. It's getting to almost <laughs> noon, guys, as we're recording this. I'm like, oh my gosh, now I'm so hungry. Like that's And we're closed amazing. today, so don't come today. Oh, no. Yeah, not today. Not today. But that's great to know. Um, I, I, My favorite topping is the very controversial, very pineapple. controversial pineapple. But I like it specifically with pineapple and jalapenos. Uh -huh. that, that's a combo that I just because you get the spice from the jalapeno and then you kind of cool it down with the pineapple um so that's my Girl, that was one of our specials last two months ago two months ago <gasps> was our special it was um it was pine because I wanted to also stir the pot with the pineapple <laughs> but it was bait. pineapple <laughs> jalapenos um bacon chicken Ooh. um ham and then there's a local pepper sauce company uh, sea witch pepper potion and we um, drizzled that on top so it was like oh my yeah gosh. that's delish. so awesome <laughs> people get very passionate about their pizza toppings I find like they're just very convinced and I'm not saying it's right or wrong but like they're very convinced that their their combo is the best combo the like, best yeah. one <laughs> Confidence. we have our preferences um but it's great that people are so passionate about something you know um yeah. and then they're always sharing that with the community uh so you've been in St. Augustine for a little bit of time now what do you like to do what would you recommend for people to do around town maybe places to go like yourself are you guys hosting any events or anything like that you guys you do, like to do Yes. Um, we love actually kind of pub crawling around. Nice. <laughs> we do. Um, one of my favorite spots to hang out, usually on Mondays too, I go there, um, is Spinster's Abbott. It is a combo general store in the front. And then they have a little secret tiki lounge in the back. It's not so much of a secret anymore, but they have that and a patio. They just serve beer and wine. And of course they carry our pizzas <laughs> and they have a pizza oven, but I love like the the community there is so welcoming and you always make friends there. So there um, on like a date night, we love to go to Shayla Moore, um, which is over in that area as well. Um, recently, we've gone out to um, St. Augustine Oyster, Oyster Company, Oyster. It's over by Home Depot. It's not St. Augustine um, Fish Camp. 
it's the oyster company, I believe. But they have a great, great happy hour at four Mm. o'clock. Sit at the bar. That's a great one. Um, I like Panama Hatties. I like sitting on the water. You know, it's it's really casual. We just sit at the Tiki Hut and talk to the boat owners. (laughs) Um, Over by the ocean, I love to go over to um, Beachcomber once in a while. They're very friendly over there, and it's also right on the ocean. Um, I, you don't get to see the water or anything, but um, they have good cocktails and nice. stuff like that. Nice. Wow. Um, yeah. I like to get around town for sure. And then I also yeah. go over to Flagler, you know, hit those guys up too. Yeah. The, all the ocean over. places. Yes. Yeah. There's so many. And yeah. I think especially like if you are, in, like we have a great wine slushy place, which is really oh, cool. I have stopped there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're the owners, their kids run with them, run track and cross country with my younger brother. Okay. Um, so they're, they're a great family. They're always, you know, nice. they're always talking about it and it's super cool. I personally haven't tried anything yet, but I am looking forward to eventually <laughs> when I can. Uh, yeah. I also heard there's a really great martini bar. Um, oh, the Tina Santa, Martini Bar. Yeah, I've heard that's really, bar. I've heard some great things up in there in St. Augustine. So there's a lot of great places to have fun yeah. and relax and and really enjoy the atmosphere. Even if you're not on the water, like you mentioned, I think sometimes yeah. just being a part of like downtown St. Augustine or just mm-hmm. looking at the different things to do around St. Augustine can just be equally as fun. It doesn't have to be just the water and the beach. There are a lot of other great things to look at. It's just beautiful up there. So um, Hillary, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. This was super fun. I love talking to some up Northerners. I feel like most people I talk to are Northerners, but just like in general, you know, <laughs> it's it's different to talk about something like this. So I, this is so much fun. I love talking about pizza and my controversial I wonder if like people actually will get like really stirred up about our kind of conversation <laughs> we get flooded with comments that'd be hilarious um but again thank you so much for the time today thank I had you. so much fun thank you it's been awesome have a great one thank you and to everyone watching I really appreciate you as well and I will see you next time bye <laughs>